Hello guys, this is Jason. I'm going to explain about how to use high and low current clamps with G-Scan 2. And other third party device with our three different gender adapters. Here we have G-Scan 2 with VMI pack. You can see four holes, green for ground cable and red and yellow for channel A and channel B. And lastly, blue for auxiliary cable, which is the one we're going to focus on in this tutorial. Well, let's select measurement. You can use current clamps in either two channel or four channel. Let's select two channel. And hit OK. And as you can see, there are only channel A and channel B. In order to use current clamp, you have to do some setting. But keep in mind that setting procedure is exactly the same for 2 channel and 4 channel. And select channel set. If you look at right column, you can see channel aux. Click little checkbox. And select G-Scan Original if you are going to use our current clamps. You can choose current type you wish to measure, low current or high current. Let's select high current, 100 amps. GIT offers high and low current clamps. This is high current clamp with zero set button and ampere setting. And this is low current clamp. Let's try to connect high current clamp. And set the ampere to 100 amps to match the setting in G-Scan. Once channel setting has been completed, select close. You can eliminate channel A and channel B by selecting X button. And focus on channel aux. You can slide the screen from right to left and you can see live measurement in numbers. If you would like to set the range of value, you can go to configuration and go to aux and you can set the range. Before you start measurement, you need to do zero setting for accuracy. With high current clamp, you can do zero setting on either G-Scan 2 with zero set button or on current clamp with a zero button. But we recommend to use zero set button on G-Scan 2. Let's try to do zero setting. You press start button. And zero set has been completed. Now let's try to connect low current clamp this time. to channel channel set click the checkbox and you can select lower current with 20 amp and close now with low current clamp there is no zero set button on the clamp so you need to do zero setting on G-Scan with zero set button. Press start. Zero calibration is completed. Speaking of quality of our current clamps, these are OEM products for Hyundai and Kia dealership. So there's no doubt about accuracy. However, price might be a little bit expensive. 
but you get what you pay for. For those of you who already have their own current clamps or want to use other current clamps, we offer three different adapters to be connected with VMI pack of our G-Scan 2. This is BNC female adapter for aux channel. You can connect it with third-party current clamp. And this is 2x4 mm female adapter for aux channel. And you can also connect it with other type of current clamp. And this is BNC male adapter. Notice that the end of the adapter is in red color. Again, you can connect it with other third-party devices. Here we've got two different current clamps. In order to connect with G-Scan 2, this current clamp needs BNC female adapter. And the other one needs 2x4 mm female adapter. To measure current with third-party current clamps, you must register range before you use it. Select register current sensor. and select register and you can enter the name and you can add range 60 amp and 10 millivolts when you're done select register and let's try to add other two ranges and 20 amps and 100 millivolts. And register. And this time with 600 amps and 1 millivolt. and register. Then you will be able to choose the sensor type you have just registered. Let's perform zero setting on this current clamp. First, power on and 600 amp and close then get rid of those channel A and B and slide and move the dial to make the average value zero. Now let's perform zero setting on this different type of current clamp. First you need to set the range and let's select to 60 amps and you have to select 60 amps on G-Scan 2. And when you're done, press close, then get rid of channel A and B and slide. Then this is a button type, so you can just simply hit zero button to zero set. Now we are ready to use current clamps. Now let's go outside to see the performance of these current clamps. Now let's select measurement and two channel close 
Now let's go to channel set and select aux and we're gonna test high current clamp so let's select 100 amps close and let's get rid of channel A and B slide the screen now we have to do zero set for high current clamp first let's power on and select 200 amps and you can do zero setting either on by button here or you can press zero set button start now you can see average value has been has turned to zero now I'm going to connect high current clamp onto alternator let's see how it shows now you can change time division for better view now you can see average value is between 14 to 15 Now select measurement again and two channel. Let's go to channel set. This time we are gonna test a third party current clamp. So select it. And power on. Get rid of channel A and B and slide the screen. Now we're gonna do the zero setting. This type is a dial type, so you have to move the dial to zero set. And you can go to configuration, select aux and set the range for a better view. Now the zero set has been completed. I'm going to connect to alternator. Let's compare with G-Scan's current clamp. I'm changing the time division for a better view. Now you can compare with G-Scan's current clamp. The average value is about the same. select measurement and two channel now let's go to channel set and click the checkbox we're gonna check the G scans current clamp low current clamp we'll close get rid of channel A and B slide the screen you have to do the zero setting as well no, this type doesn't have the zero set button, so you have to do zero set on G-Scan. Select start. Now you can see average value has turned to zero. Now I'm going to connect to low current plan, checking fuel pump motor and you can go to configuration and ch change the range now you can see average value is about 5.67 select measurement and two channel and go to channel set and 
click the checkbox and this time we're going to test and compare our G-Scan's current clamp with third-party low current clamp. Select 20 amps, close and get rid of channel A and B and slide the screen. Now you have to do zero setting again. You can see average is 122 or something. You can press zero button on the current clamp. Now I'm connecting current clamp onto fuel motor. Now you can see average value is between 5.2 to 